Happy New Year's, Dunks. You have any resolutions? What do you mean this video was recorded days in advance? What's up, Slimes? It's your boy Trey from the mailroom, here again with more Pokemon. Look at the guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna gently, this might knock everything down. No, it fell the right way. It fell the right way. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy 2021. I hope things go well for you all in the new year. Anyways, I have I have this. I'm very happy to, very excited to open this. Snorlax and Lapras VMAX Collection exclusive to GameStop, which made it very difficult to actually get because my GameStop uh, doesn't restock cards. <laughs> I had to drive to a different town to buy Pokemon cards. Uh, and that's noting that I don't actually have a GameStop in my town. I had to basically drive to uh, a different town from a different town. It's, it, it was, it, you know what, it was, a, it was a hassle, but this was a Christmas present to me. I very much appreciate it. We're gonna get into it. This, uh, it's not Christmas anymore, but this is a lovely Christmas ornament who can just hang out, uh, over here for most of the video. Maybe we'll move him around occasionally. Let's, 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 let's crack open this bad boy. Oh god, oh dude, the focus hated that. Oh my god, the autofocus is losing its mind. What is it trying to focus on? Does it think there's something here? Why did it do that? It, like, went to zero vision. Joker smile. There's there's a lot here. Maybe I need to... Maybe autofocus isn't a fan of this, but... We're gonna tolerate it for a moment. As we get this bad boy out of its cellophane wrapping, there's a lot in this box. Uh, this is this is a very expensive box. I think it's like 60 retail. They put it on sale for like 40 for Christmas. Haha, <laughs> hilariously, after this had already been bought for me as a present. Thanks, GameStop. That's super cool of you. You got a lot in here. You got four promo cards. Two of them are VMAX. This is why I wanted. I wanted the chunky guy. You got the chunker, the Lapras. Uh, Lapras Big Shell, Chunk or Big Chunk, a pin of each of the G Gigantamax Pokemon. What is it, like, ten packs? Eight, maybe, might be eight packs. You could, you could have stood to have, like, two more packs. There's some stuff in here, too, but there's a lot to look at. Let's, let's, let's pop this bad boy. Let's start cracking into it. Shh. Uh... This is the only other real Pokemon TCG related thing I got for Christmas. Obviously, I got the Vivid Voltage box we already went through. And they're this bad boy. You know what? There's no complaint. A lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good, good jujus here for a Christmas haul. I'm gonna pop it open. Let's set it here. Let's set it here. All right. That gets the nice. That gets the lovely cards out. We're gonna, we're gonna not worry about the cards for a minute. We're gonna worry about, we'll worry about the cards once I change the focus. Oh my god, it's a binder. Oh, okay, never mind. We're turning we're changing the autofocus now. Alright, let's start with this bad boy. And that's just is Lapras on the other? Dude, this is good. This is neat. I actually didn't know the box came with this. It's just a lovely card binder. I don't know what cards I'm gonna put in this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. Maybe I'll put maybe I'll put like my secret rares and stuff in here. Cause this is this is a good binder. I really, really like this. This is already way better than I was expecting. I was about to say, ah, you know, you could have had 10 packs, and I mean, you, you still could have, but, like, do the binder included? Never mind, 8 packs is fine. This is, I, I, I know there's a big glare from my ceiling light, but this is so good. I love that binder a lot. That's, that's way, I'm, I'm, I, I love that. I love that a lot. Ah, that's all I have to say. Where is it? Give me my pins. Give me my pins. Why must they be a hassle to get out of here? Is he I guess that's a shadow. It was real weird. Let me see if I can get a grip on this. So here's like... Oh, Focus is not going to like this dude. At all. The Gigantamax Lapras pin. The Focus is really better on like cards and stuff. He's got like... He's darker. You see his head's darker. Because he's, he's got like a shadow on it. They did some shading for this pin. And I respect it a lot. He's got the music notes. Is it busting out Parish Song? No, it's Ice, maybe? 
It's a good pin nonetheless. I'm a big fan of the pins. I'm a big pin collector. I wish pin boxes were more readily available. Stop printing the stupid oversized cards. They're the worst collectible ever. Give pin or figure. Snorlax. This pin, another very simple, very, very pretty pin. Uh, I don't really... I guess the darker blue on him is also supposed to be like a shadow. But it seems a little stranger to me than on the Lapras. Very nice pin. The detail on the grass, it's hard for you to tell on the camera, but it's it's very nice detail. This probably would have been a better time for autofocus, but oh well. We got our eight packs. Get them over here. I think the code card's dumped off to the side over here. Blop. Let's get these lads. Let's see, chunk this trash out of here too. Now this, 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 I believe, is a big variety of packs for us to open. We got ourselves a Darkness Ablaze. Feels very average. We got our Rebel Clash, which feels slightly chunky, but people hate Rebel Clash. I don't know why people hate Rebel Clash. Uh, I think they just don't like the set itself. Crimson Invasion. I know nothing about this set. It looks like it is Ultra Beast. Feels slightly above average. Base, Sun and Moon, nothing to say. It feels regular, feels slightly worse than Darkness Ablaze. A different Darkness Ablaze, now this one, this one's feeling a bit chunky. This Darkness Ablaze, I think this one's got something going on. You know what, put the Rebel Clash there. We're mixing them up, we're, we're already grading the fatness of them. Another base, Sword and Shield, wait, was that a base Sun and Moon or a base Sword and Shield? I pulled a second ago, that's base Sun and Moon. Base Sword and Shield with Lapras on it really really hyping itself up and you know what i'm gonna tell you a lot of these packs they feel fairly fatty and maybe that's you know maybe they're not maybe they all feel fatty because they all feel normal but they they feel pretty fatty there's a steam siege in here uh that's that's a throwback that's this is like the kind of pack you would get in one of those walmart mystery boxes that's like vintage pack guaranteed a pre current era pack and it's like it's xy steam siege Dude, you know what? You're, you're still feel heavier than the stinky Darkness Ablaze. And then we got a Burning Shadows. I'm a big Burning Shadows mark. I like Necrozma. I like ho -Oh. Uh I like a lot of the stuff in Burning Shadows. Dude, I don't know. Let's throw him after the Rebel Clash. That's, that's, a good, that's a good pack fattening. Now let's get our four promo cards out. First, we have this lovely Lapras V card. Looking for a big chompy attack. Old Loch Ness Monster here. Taking out any Scotsman who steps to her reign. Push that in there, good. Lovely. Very reflective in the fat Pikachu sleeves that we're still rocking. Because these sleeves are very good. And immediately following up, I guess maybe... Hey, let me just get the three sleeves out in advance, so... There's less fumbling around, less cutting for me to have to do. The other regular V card we have is this wonderful Snorlax V, big chunky man. Give me your phone. Stop posting. He's coming for you. He's going to grab you right out of the card. And what are you going to do about it? Nothing. You're going to get eaten because it's a Snorlax. He's, he's, he looks chunkier than normal in this card. Look at it, he's like less of a neck. He looks more like this Snorlax with his lack of a neck. He's put the extra weight on. This is a rounder Snorlax than normal. He's getting ready to Gigantamax. He's he's getting ready to host an entire island on his tummy. Uh, but you know who's swimming around that island? That's right. This is a terrible way to hold this card. Lapras VMAX. Let's get this one in. Nice, lovely, full art. Beautiful, majestic. Is this my first Gigantamax card? Obviously, it's not my first VMAX. I'm, like, thinking now. So I've pulled a few VMAXs, but I don't remember how many of them were actual, like, Gigantamax Pokemon. At most, I've gotten one other in the past, but I think these two might be my first actual Gigantamax Pokemon. And then lovely Fat Man right here. Boy, howdy, do I love this card. This is unironically the pins, and Snorlax VMAX were the main 
reasons I wanted this box and was graciously gifted it. So thank you to that individual. Hopefully the pulls are good as well, but nonetheless, we've already got quite a bit. Pins, a binder, the good lads here. And hey, I mean, let's just let's just get into the packs. There's no reason to stall, no reason to wait. Darkness ablaze. I think X and Y is where it becomes only three to the front. I think is the way this is gonna go. Ugh. This is this is a good variety of packs for us to open. Now that the um, era of hidden fates has come to an end, the code card fell out into the booster pack, but it's okay. It's going to be fine. So with this, it's still for the front for sure. We're, we're used to the insane pulls from Hidden Fates. We're still on a pretty good streak of not having 700-like stinky cards. We've gotten at least a decent pull in every video so far out of every box so far. And you know, there's enough packs in here. We got to get something. We can't just completely strike out. Reverse Hollow Suicune ain't that stinky. That's a pretty nice Reverse Hollow. Blop. X and Y Steam Siege. You don't... I was about to say you don't see these often. That may not be true. They might get stuffed into things all the time. You don't... Go out of your way to try and get these often. Pulled that real fast. Maybe you didn't see it. I don't know if you saw the color or not. X and Y, I'm going to assume, is three to the front. I believe Sun and Moon started four to the front. We're going to hope for the best. Greedy dice. You know, that's, sometimes that's just what you want. Sometimes you need a little, bit of, a little bit of greed in your life. Terrible. All garbage. Stinky Steam Siege cards. I don't know why everyone hates you, but I hate you now, too. Just, just horrendous. But Sun and Moon, on the other hand. Listen, we're three packs deep. It's, it's time to keep the train running into station. We haven't done a single box. That's been a flop since Black Friday. And that's going to continue here. You think we're going to go eight packs without anything? Maybe it won't be something great. You know, I'm not saying we hit jackpots all the time but this streak is still going today it's not like i'm opening four packs today and be like oh man i hope we pull literally anything no no no, no. the odds are with us here sun and moon crimson invasion this i don't i feel like i rarely ever open this pack i don't, I, I feel like I, I legit hardly ever see this pack i know nothing about it and you know what that means that means it's time for this pack to show me what it's got inside of it. It's time for this pack to show me what Crimson Invasion is made of. Red card, Pile of Swine, Alolan Graveler, dude. Th I mean, Sand, it's pretty cool. Honestly, I got nothing against Alolan Graveler either. There's no reason. Oh, it's mildly fat Pikachu. Look at that psychic memory. And a hollow Regice. That's not what I'm looking for. But at least Regice is still pretty cool. Probably my least favorite Reggie, but you know what? Uh, actually, that's not true. I think I like Reggie Ice more than the Electric Reggie because I forgot the Electric Reggie existed until right this moment. Cards all falling apart there. I don't even remember what this pack was. I'm not going to lie to you. Was this Rebel Clash? No, this wasn't Rebel Clash. What was this pack? This was Rebel Clash, because we did Steam Siege already. So I did three to the front. That doesn't make sense. Wait a minute. So it's four to the front. Yes, okay. Water energy. <laughs> I got mixed. For some reason, I was thinking Rebel Clash was like XY. I thought that was like a Medicham made of clay for a second. I love you. You're, you're good. You're my son. That's a bundle be made of clay. I'm putting this off to the side. I'm a big fan of the uh, the clay Pokemon. Reverse Hollow Grubbin. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. You can't do this to me. Three packs left. No. This this isn't how I go. No. You're gonna make me take a whole week off 
from opening junk on here. Not the Porygon that was inside a cereal box. You're going to make me take a week off from opening cards just to recoup from the pain I'm feeling right now, aren't you? Don't do it to me. Don't. Don't let it go this way. Not with the Christmas present. Come on. We can't start 2021 off with the death of the streak. It's I, They all felt fat because none of them were fat. Reverse Hollow Zygarde. I ought to eat you right now. No. Two packs left. Sword and Shield. Come on. I actually liked this game. I mean, sure, you know, it could have been a lot better. It definitely was rushed out, and uh, you could tell after the fourth gym that they needed to get the game out super quickly, so they just streamlined everything, and the plot sure kind of suddenly just, like, happened, and then it was over. But, you know, if you overlook all that, that's some nice art. If you overlook all that, it's a pretty fun game. Aurora Energy, that's a good sign. Look at all these cool Pokemon introduced in Sword and Shield, like Goldeen and Roselia. I thought that was just one of Octillery's tentacles. I almost crushed this Rillaboom in my hand with pure rage. The streak is dead, boys. That's just wrap it in. Just, just bring it home, gamers. We came so far. Making progress in everything we did. I don't even... Part of me wanted to just look at the code card and know. Just save myself the pain. But we don't do that here. We fight to the bitter end. But it's it's bottom. The two energies. Two energies. Just go. Just go. Just go. Why are we here? Just to suffer. We got you twice. Twice. I don't like Gothitoe. I never did. Stinky. Garbage trash Pokemon. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, wow. You're going to destroy this Gothitoe card just because you didn't get anything good? This Gothitoe card's probably worth like five cents. And no one would pay five cents for it. So, I mean, like, it's cardboard. Don't get too riled up. At least the binder's cool. Dude, I can't believe. I can't believe that the $60 Christmas GameStop box is what kills the streak. Here's the four promo cards. You can't even see them. They're so shiny, you physically cannot view them. What was inside of Marcellus Wallace briefcase? The four promo cards from the Lapras Snorlax box. Dude, that sucks. That's real bad. Ah! Ah! I mean... I... I, I want to say 2021 off to not a great start. But I guess technically for me it's still 2020. So I guess take it as you will. Uh, there may be a video next week. There may not. Uh, I think it depends. I have I have an order in the mail coming. But you know how UPS is right now. So if it hasn't arrived by next week, there will just be a week with no video. And then we'll we'll get right back into it. But on on the plus side, if you liked me striking out here, <laughs> your boy's got three hundred and fifty dollars in pre orders and shining fates, so get ready for that. Dunks outro. Hey guy, you just peeking over there? You want to tell the people watching something? You want to tell them that if they like this video, they should like and leave a comment, helps a lot. Subscribe if they want to see more. Smash that like button for all my stinky pools. Happy New Year's. I swear he's not depressed.